So my name is Ramni Narayan. I'm with Michigan State University. I'm a professor of chemical engineering and material science. And what we're going to talk today is on bioplastics or biopolymers. We are going to use them interchangeably. And you have heard about bioplastics, biopolymers a lot. So let's find out what makes these tick, right? We are talking about the value proposition for bioplastics or biopolymers. And it's very simple. Replacing the petrofossil carbon present in your product with a bio-renewable carbon. And what this gives to you is a reduced carbon footprint. Now, carbon footprint means reduced CO2 emissions with its attending global warming climate change issues, which again is front and center on the table of all countries and people in the world. Okay. So, uh, the value proposition for bioplastics is that we are replacing today's petrofossil carbon in plastics, in products, with a bio-renewable carbon, which allows us to reduce the carbon footprint. That's the simple value proposition. The second thing you want to know is why replacing petrocarbon with biocarbon is good, right? Why does it make it so useful? What is the value proposition for that? And it's very simple. You studied this in high school biology. There's carbon present in the atmosphere as CO2. Plants fix it. It's called photosynthesis, uses energy, and you form biomass or biocarbon feedstocks. Over millions of years, that is converted to fossil resources. We use it, we put it back as CO2. So it's very simple math. The rate and time for fixing CO2 to fossil fuel is millions of years. The rate which I use it and put it back is in one, 10, 20 years, pick your time. But certainly not millions of years. Now, if certainly the math there is very simple. It's not sustainable. Million, 10, 20, 30. If I use biomass or biorenewable carbon, the rate and time scales is one to 10 years. You grow your crop, you plant trees. That rate is one to 10 years. I use it. I put it back as CO2, one to 10 years. I'm in balance. So the simple value proposition is that by using bio-renewable carbon feedstocks to make my bioplastics, my biopolymers, I am in balance as far as the carbon footprint is concerned. And this is the value proposition for this big drive or move to change from petro-renewable plastics to bio-renewable carbon-based plastics and products.